वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर वन सेकंड चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस एंड डेसिमल्स एक्सरसाइज 2.3 प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम 3 टू 8 एक्सरसाइज 2.3 थर्ड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग डिविजन्स 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 सॉल्यूशन 1 78.24 डिवाइडेड बाय 0.2 दैट मींस 78.24 by 0.2 observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator so we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one that is by 10 so in the numerator the decimal place shifts right side after one digit that is 782.4 by denominator becomes 2 on simplification by 2 to 391.2 that is equal to 391.2 Solution to 4.845 divided by 1.5. That means 4.845 by 1.5. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one. That is by 10. The decimal place will shift right side after one digit in the numerator. So 48.45 by denominator becomes 15. Now on simplification by 15, 15 3.23 ja that is equal to 3.23. Solution 3, 0.246 divided by 0.6 that means 0.246 by 0.6. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one that is by 10. Then in the numerator, the decimal place will shift right side after one digit, so it becomes 2.46 by denominator becomes six. On simplification by six, six zero point four one ja that is equal to zero point four one. Solution for five hundred sixty three point two divided by two point two. That means five hundred sixty three point two by two point two. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one. That is by ten. On multiplication, the decimal place will shift right side after one digit. So the numerator becomes five thousand six hundred and thirty-two by the denominator becomes twenty-two. So on simplification by eleven, eleven five hundred and twelve ja, eleven two ja. On simplification by two, two. 256 ja that is equal to 256 solution 5 0.026 divided by 0.13 that means 0.026 by 0.13 observe that there are two decimal places in the denominator so we have to multiply with a number which has two zeros after one that is by 100 now on multiplication the decimal place will shift right side after two digits So numerator becomes 2.6 by denominator becomes 13. On simplification by 13, 13 0.2 ja that is equal to 0.2. Solution 6 4.347 divided by 0.09 that means 4.347 by 0.09. Observe that there are two decimal places in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has two zeros after one that is by 100. Then on multiplication, the decimal place will shift right side after two digits in the numerator, so it becomes four hundred thirty-four point seven. By denominator becomes nine. On simplification by nine, nine forty-eight point three. Ja, that is equal to forty-eight point three. Solution seven, three point nine divided by zero point one three. That means three point nine by zero point one three. Observe that there are two decimal places in the denominator, so we have to multiply with a number which has two zeros after one, that is by hundred. Then in the numerator, the decimal point will shift right side after two digits, so it becomes three hundred and ninety. By denominator becomes thirteen. On simplification by thirteen, thirteen, thirty ja, that is equal to thirty. Solution eight. 20.32 divided by 0.8. That means 20.32 by 0.8. Observe that there is only one decimal in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number 
which has only one zero after one, that is by ten. On multiplication, the decimal point will shift to right side after one digit in the numerator, so it becomes two hundred and three point two by the denominator becomes eight. On simplification by eight, eight twenty five point four ja, that is equal to twenty five point four. Solution nine. Twenty-four point four divided by six point one. That means twenty-four point four by six point one. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one. That is by ten. On multiplication, the decimal place will shift right side after one digit in the numerator. So it becomes two hundred forty-four by denominator becomes sixty-one. Now on simplification by sixty one sixty one four ja that is equal to four. Now solution ten two point one six four divided by zero point zero zero eight that means two point one six four by zero point zero zero eight. Observe that there are three decimal places in the denominator. So we have to multiply with a number which has three zeros after one that is by one thousand. On multiplication, the decimal point will shift to right side after three digits. So the numerator becomes so two thousand one hundred and sixty-four by denominator becomes eight. So let us divide two thousand one sixty-four by eight. First, eight two are sixteen. By subtraction, we get five and take six. Eight seven are fifty-six. By subtraction, we get zero and take four. Eight zeros are zero. By subtraction, we get four. So we should put a point. Then we can add zero. Eight five are forty. By subtraction, we get zero. So the quotient is equal to two hundred seventy point five. Number four. Solve the following. One two three. Solution one. Divide thirty nine point five four by six. That means thirty nine point five four by six. On simplification by six, six, six point five nine ja. That is equal to six point five nine. Solution two divide seven point two by ten. That means seven point two by ten. Observe that there is only one zero in the denominator. So the decimal point will shift left side after one digit. So it becomes zero point seven two. Solution three. Divide five point two by one point three. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator, so we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one, that is by ten. Then the decimal point in the numerator will shift right side after one digit, so it becomes fifty two, and the denominator becomes thirteen. On simplification by thirteen, thirteen four ja, that is equal to four. Now fifth problem. Shaker traveled 154.5 kilometers in 5 hours with uniform speed on his bike. How much distance does he travel in 1 hour? Solution: Observe the word 5 hours and then 1 hour. So the number of hours are decreased from 5 to 1. So the operation we have to use here is division. The distance traveled by Shaker. In five hours is equal to one fifty four point five kilometers. Distance travelled by Shaker in one hour is equal to one fifty four point five divided by five. On simplification by five, five thirty point nine ja. That is equal to thirty point nine kilometers. Sixth problem: If a mason worked hundred hours in twelve point five days. To construct a wall, then how many hours he totally worked in a day? Solution: Observe the word twelve point five days, and then a day. A day means one day. So number of days are decreased from twelve point five to one day. So the operation we have to use here is division. Number of hours mason worked in twelve point five days is equal to hundred hours. Number of hours. Mason worked in one day is equal to hundred by twelve point five. Observe that there is only one decimal place in the denominator, so we have to multiply with a number which has only one zero after one. That is by ten. Hundred into ten is equal to one thousand in the numerator. 
and the denominator becomes 125 on simplification by 125 125 8 ja that is equal to 8 hours now seventh problem if the cost of dozen x is 61 rupees 80 paise then find the cost of an egg solution here observe the word dozen dozen means 12 an egg means one egg so the number of x are decreased from 12 to 1 so the operation we have to use here is division cost of 12x is equal to 61 rupees 80 paise cost of 1 egg is equal to 61 rupees 80 paise by 12 on simplification by 12 12 5.15 ja that is equal to 5 rupees 15 paise is the cost of 1 egg now last problem if the price of a tablet strip containing 10 tablets is 26 rupees 50 paise then find the price of each tablet solution observe the word 10 tablets and then each tablet each means one tablet so number of tablets are decreased from 10 to 1 so the operation we have to use here is division so price of 10 tablets is equal to 26 rupees 50 paise price of one tablet is equal to 26 rupees 50 paise by 10 observe that there is only one zero in the denominator so the decimal point in the numerator will shift left side after one digit so it becomes 2 rupees 65 paise is the price of one tablet thanks for watching video don't forget to subscribe Say karma